very useful tool as it's found its way into many people's lives. It's changed the way we approach and look at geography and navigation. This True. is the Google Maps iceberg. It outlines the many different weird anomalies that can be found on Google Maps. You already know how these iceberg charts work. Let's get into it. Black spots. So it is not uncommon for Google to just black out or blur out things on Google Maps that they don't want you to see. A lot of the time, of course, this is just done for privacy reasons. And so, for example, do you recognize this house? No, seriously, does this house feel familiar to you? Because if it does, there's a good reason why. This is Gumball Watterson's house from The Amazing World of Gumball. You can literally just find the house that they use for the show on Google Maps. This house used to not be blurred out, but it's blurred out now, probably to protect the privacy of the current homeowners. And so, like, overall, you know, that makes sense. On the other hand, here's How do you do that shit? Yo, I gotta, I gotta hit someone up, bro. North of the South China Sea, that just has both sides of it blacked out. Not really sure what's going on here. I believe this island is known as Manbu Ansha. According to this article from 2013 I found on the Wayback Machine, China put a scientific research base on this island to do aquaculture research. So there is some sort of Chinese settlement on this island. Whether or not you really believe China set up this base to do aquaculture research is up to you. I mean, this is the Chinese government. They're not usually the most truthful about what they do. This island is in an area of the South China Sea known as the Macclesfield Bank, and there's always been a dispute over whether China or Taiwan control. Bro, you can't just openly say God. That's the that's the holding place of Godzilla. You can't say that out loud, bro. Like, imagine saying that. Like, being like, dude, you can't just claim Godzilla's there, bro. You can't do that, bro. Controls this area. So it kind of seems like China probably put up this research base more as a way to just get a foothold in this area. And so it all gets us to this point where there are a number of different reasons this island could have blacked out spots on it. Maybe there's some sort of Chinese base on this island that Google wants to black out for some reason. Maybe Google is unsure as to whether this island belongs to China or Taiwan, so they just black it out to avoid a conflict or something. And also, I guess it could just be some sort of mapping glitch. I kind of doubt it because these black spots have been on this island for quite a while now and if it really was a glitch google probably would have fixed it at this point another example of something being mysteriously censored out on google maps can be seen in this russian town called button for a while some of the houses in this town were scribbled out with some sort of white marking this white scribbling is gone now but that's weird i mean those scribbles were definitely put there on purpose so make of that what you will and of course it's not uncommon for military bases or government Long buildings day. to be blurred out for national security reasons or something along those lines. In fact, while we're talking about this, this entry on the iceberg, military bases, is probably just referring to how they're blurred out a lot of the time on Google Maps. So, for example, this airbase in Spain has its runways blurred out, and this airbase in France is just so low resolution, you can't even really tell what's going on. Wow! Face in the clay. This entry on the iceberg is probably just referring to this thing in Alberta, Canada, known as the Badlands Guardian. It's this natural formation in the rock and clay there that from up above, it looks like a face. Yo! Wait, wait, turn the volume up. What? This shit loud as fuck in my ear. Dude, what the fuck? Look at that shit. North Korea. This entry, of course, is probably referring to just how North Korea has very limited Google Maps data. There is little to no information on the businesses in North Korea. There is little to no street view data. And the few photospheres that you can access within North Korea that I'd imagine were put there by tourists give off such an eerie and isolated vibe. Roma's cat. Dude, dude, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, being like, just w w waking up in North Korea is one of my biggest fears. Literally, it's one of my biggest fears, bro. That, like, look at this place. There looks like there's nobody there, bro. Little to no street. Look at data, this shit. A few photos for that you can access. What the hell even is that, bro? With the North Korea that I'd imagine were put there by tourists give off such an eerie and. I love these people in the chat putting question marks. Like, the guy didn't just literally agree. The guy just said it gives off an eerie vibe. Do you want to go to fucking North Korea? Or like, what am I seeing in this chat? Why are there a bunch of people defending North Korea in here? Yes? Then go to fucking North, go to North Korea, bro. Go to fucking North Korea. Get the fuck out of my chat and go to fucking North Korea, bro. If that's really what you want. If that's truly what you want, go to fucking North Korea then. The fuck? 
I'm, I, I know I'm not offending anyone in North Korea because I don't even think they allow people to fucking go on Twitch in North Korea, bro. I don't even think that's allowed. So no one's getting offended, bro. If you really want to go to North Korea, go ahead, bro. Isolated vibe, Roma's cat. So there's this place in Rome, Italy called Largo de Torre, Argentina. And at this point, it's basically this cat sanctuary type thing. Initially, this spot was built as more of like a historical Roman monument, but then a bunch of cats started moving in and now it's kind of just this cat sanctuary. For a while on Google Maps, there was a photosphere there that when you viewed it, you could just see this cat. <laughs> I'd imagine this is just for photosphere <laughs> Wait, let me see the cat. when you viewed it, you could just... <laughs> How did they even like do like this picture? I thought Google Maps was like just like a, like a car driving by with a camera. Like how are they like inside this this barrier? Lows? Chat, your jokes have evolved to like calling me animals and not even like like a cat, dude? What are you saying? Oh, dude, this is... No, no, that's actually sad, bro. That's actually a sad joke. Like, I actually feel bad. See this cat. Buffaloes. I'd imagine this is just referring to, like, buffaloes you can see on Google Maps. Two-legged cat. Central... He's referring to this picture of a two-legged cat. This picture's been around for a while now, and it's kind of a meme, I guess. I guess a lot of people were... Dude, what am I hearing? Is that the audio and the thing? Two-legged cat. This picture's been around for a while now, and it's kind of a meme, I guess. I guess a lot oh, of people... Oh, it is. Okay. I was like, dude, what the fuck? It sounds like something's banging. I gotta fucking look at the security cameras, bro. The fuck? A two-legged cat. This picture's been around for a while now, and it's kind of a meme, I guess. I guess a lot of people were under the impression that this picture is from Google Maps. Like, it was a picture of a cat ripped off of Google Street View, and it looks like that because of, like, some glitch or something. But it's actually just not. It's actually just a Photoshop picture of a cat. Fuck you, roof. So there's this house in Mississippi that just says fuck you on the roof. There's not really a whole lot going on here. Pigeon people. So this is referring to this walking path in the Tokyo, Japan area, where after you follow this walking path for a while, you'll just stumble across a bunch of of pigeon people. If I had to make a guess as to what's going on here, there's this Musashino Art University pretty close by, so maybe some art students were just out doing some art stuff. Man falling downstairs. This next entry takes us to Hoboken, New Jersey, where if you look- Hey, shout out to Jersey. Hey, I love how the one thing about Jersey is it's a guy falling down the stairs. Like, there's no cool cat sanctuary or fucking, like, you know, any weird, blurred, like, no, it's just a guy falling down the stairs. Like, great. That's like what new cool. Look to your left. Oh, yeah, they blurred it out. But back before they blurred it out, you used to be able to catch this guy just absolutely shitting himself makes, on these stairs. I sense. like this one a lot. Makes Flying sense. rabbit. So there's this road in Poland where you'll come up to this rabbit and it kind of just looks like it gets up and flies away. It's pretty cool. It's pretty funny. What's probably going on. Whoa! Here is this rabbit is getting hit by the Google car. It's kind of crazy too because he gets air So the Google car just fucking ran over the bunny and just sped off An innocent little bunny. I like this one a lot flying rabbit So there's this road in Poland where you'll come up to this rabbit and it kind of just looks like it gets up and flies away It's pretty cool. It's pretty funny. What's probably going on here is this rabbit is getting hit by the Google car It's kind of crazy too because he gets air big rabbit. So when R.I.P. in a chat, bro. R.I. fucking P. In northern Italy, there's this mountain called the Coletto Fava Mountain, and this art group by the name of Gelatin decided just to put a giant stuffed pink rabbit on top of it. People could drive to it and climb around on it and stuff. From Google Maps, it looks pretty menacing. It was put there in 2005, and it was supposed to last quite a while, but it started rotting and decomposing really fast, and by 2016, it was pretty much just gone. Nowadays, if you try and visit this rabbit, you won't find it, but oh, you will wow. still find the outline that it left behind. Mars and Moon. Very similarly to Google Earth, Google also has Google Mars and Google Moon whales. I'd imagine this is just referring to sometimes how you can spot whales on Google Maps. Here's a couple you can see off the coast of Hawaii. Dick Church in the great state of Illinois. In the city of Dixon lies the Christian Science Society of Dixon. It doesn't look like a penis. Rainbow Plane. Sometimes <laughs> Wait, Christian what? Science There's Society a cock church? Of Dixon. <laughs> <It's> a co <laughs> That's funny.
It doesn't look like a penis. Rainbow plane. Sometimes when low-flying planes are caught on Google Maps, they have this kind of rainbow effect to them. It seems like the reason this happens is because the satellite cameras are capturing red, blue, and green at slightly different times. All right, I, dude, it's like, I get it. This guy's showing us this shit, but he's kind of shitting on all, like, like, let us have some imagination, bro. You're just like, yeah, no, the reason this is happening is like, dude, come on, bro. God damn it. Okay, cool. There can't just be a rainbow plane, bro. Like, you can't just let us have a rainbow plane. All right, bro. And so since the plane is moving super fast, it's giving the colors kind of like a warped effect. Google's car pulled over. So what this is probably referring to is if you go into Street View and come into this town called Golly in West Virginia, as you're coming through this town, you can see this police car pop out. He follows you for a while. You can see him turn on his lights and then just pull you over. It's hard to tell why this happened, if Google's car was speeding or maybe the police officer, uh, he thought maybe the camera on top of the Google car was like a hazard or something. Mm -hmm. The murder dock. So in Amsterdam, there's what? this park called Beatrix Park. And at this park, there's a dock. And for a while on Google Maps, if you were to check out this dock, this is what you would see. Oh, I remember, I've seen this. I've seen this picture before. This is fucked. This is fucked. It kind of looks like someone was murdered, left bleeding, and then drug out onto the dock. That's not what most people think is going on here, though. Most likely what happened here is some guy had a wet dog, and the wet dog went out onto the dock and dripped all over it, and just the poor satellite quality made this water on the dock look like blood. Oh, yeah, that could just be water on the wood. Oh, yeah. Dude, fuck, man! I want to... Dude! This guy ruins everything, bro! I mean, I guess he didn't really ruin it, because there was... In my mind, there was a murder, so I guess he actually helped. But no, I didn't want murder. Oh, oh my God. No, I didn't want a murder, bro. I'm saying that like, it would, okay. Wouldn't it be crazy that they caught a murder? All right, oh my God, what? Jesus Christ. Masquerade people. I think this entry is just supposed to say Jesus. masked people and there's some sort of typo. It's probably referring to these masked guys you can find just standing around. What the fuck are they holding? Is that an ax? on this road while you're going through Mexico. There's no information on this. It's just weird masked people standing out in the middle of Mexico. Kidnapper house. We're just gonna just blow by that. Like that didn't just happen. That there's literally masked psychopaths holding axes in the middle of Mexico. The Ariel Castro kidnappings were a series of kidnappings that took place between 2002 and 2004, where a man by the name of Ariel Castro abducted three girls and held them captive in his house. These girls were constantly abused and tortured, and Michelle Knight, who was abducted in 2002, didn't escape until 2013, so that's... Is there a JCS or some shit on that? Because I want to know about this. If anyone has a good documentary YouTube video on that, I need to know about this shit. That's fucked, bro. That's literally fucked, bro. That's like over 10 years. It's an incredibly messed up story. And this entry on the iceberg kidnapper house is referring to how the house that this all took place in is now blurred out on Google Maps. Creature on the Balcony. Located in France, there's a city called Nancy, and there's this neighborhood that just has an inexplicably blurred out house on Street View. It doesn't really make any sense until you go back in time and see what used to be here. Before Google blurred all of this out, you used to be able to see this balcony with this kind of strange alien looking creature type thing. Now, honestly, this thing on the balcony doesn't even look that weird. It totally looks like it could be a mannequin or some sort of Halloween decoration. In fact, some people on Reddit were looking into this and people were able to find statues that are very similar to this one. What is more weird about it though is how Google approached blurring it out. Cause for a long time, you could just come to this spot on Street View and just see it in its entirety and then that's it. But then a while back, Google decided to just blur out the weird creature on the balcony. Not everything, not the entire balcony, but just the creature on the balcony itself, nothing else. And then a little bit after that, they did go ahead and then blur out more of the balcony, and now just the entire house is blurred out. It wasn't weird until Google started making it weird, you know? Lady of the North. This entry is just... Nah, there's something about that that's... That, no, that's not normal, bro. That's not normal, bro. Don't... Guys, I have headphones... Noise-canceling headphones on. I, you can't say shit about behind you. Bro, chill out, bro. Chill the fuck out. Oh my ass. Oh. 
Just referring to this giant land sculpture in the UK. The Yo! It's often referred to as the Lady of the North. Giant crab. So this entry in the iceberg is referring to this image that's been floating around the internet for a while. It shows what looks to be a giant crab off of this harbor. It's a nice picture. The original picture is actually taken from Bing Maps, not Google Maps. You can tell this is exactly where they got it from because all the patterns in the sand are exactly the same and all the boats on the dock wow, are at the exact fake. same place. It's a nice picture. Swastika building. So in San Diego, California, there's a naval base. And from up above, one of the buildings on this naval base looks like this. Yes. How this building managed to happen is pretty odd, especially considering it was built in the 1960s. I'm not really sure how the architect could have missed out on this. I've seen people say that this building was built this way for lighting or air conditioning reasons, but the 1960s had fairly good lighting and air conditioning solutions. At the time, there must have just been the assumption that no one was ever going to get an aerial view of the building. For a while, people were getting kind of mad at the Navy for having this building, and Come according on, to a man. Time Magazine article from 2007... Come on, man! Like, what? That's so unnecessary. Why would wouldn't you just make it like all the way around uh, dude this is unnecessary the Navy bro. said that they were gonna invest money into this building to make it not look like a swastika anymore but that was 15 years ago and the building still definitely looks like a swastika dude all you have to do is just knock down one of these walls and just make it like that now it's not anymore angel in switzerland for a while there's this road near saint gallen where you can see what kind of looked like an angel in the sky some people also think it looks like a devil and an angel standing next to each other if you try and visit this spot on google maps now though it's gone google must have removed and replaced this street view data red sea so at first i thought this entry was just referring to the red sea but as far as i can tell nothing red sea related is particularly notable on google Maps. what it could be referring to is this red lake you can find in baghdad iraq no one on the internet seems to be 100% certain why this lake is red, but I've seen people speculate that it could be some sort of algae in the water or it's from sewage. Another idea though oh is this Times Magazine article says, one tipster told the tech blog Boing Boing that he was told by a friend that slaughterhouses in Iraq sometimes dump blood into canals. So that's something to think about. Most likely what's going on here is some sort of algae is making the water red. An algae known as Dunalaila salina has the ability to turn water a reddish pinkish color. So, no so there's way. a pretty good chance that's what's going on here. Ghost nah, girl. nah, nah, that's not algae, bro. That's not algae, bro. Cause we would, I've never seen some shit like that in my life. It just makes the entire body of water retina, bro. But before we get into that, I'm happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by Honey Game. Have you ever wanted to make a little extra money? You know, have a side hustle? No, oh, no, no! We only fuck with swag bucks here. their information packages from the web and these information packages are used by research money by running to collect collect any added to your cemetery in texas there used to be a description ghost girl this entry is referring to how at a cemetery in texas there used to be a photosphere and if you were to look to your right at one of the trees you could spot a girl peeking out from hey yo my god around it it's also some people see this floaty thing in the background and think it's a ghost or something a couple people have claimed to have made this photosphere and have just said that it was their daughter who was hiding behind a tree. It's a little bit off-putting once you see it. This photosphere has since been removed from this cemetery. Bro, please take that off. So that could be a little spooky. Man pointing gun to the camera. So this is probably referring to this thing in Detroit. There's this house in Detroit that's blurred out. Before it was blurred out, there was a bunch of people standing on the porch with one of the people pointing a gun at the camera. Dog chasing car. So if you go to this island right here in Japan and go through this spot, this dog will start chasing you not really much to it it's pretty cool kazakhstan pentagram this next entry takes us to kazakhstan where there's a giant pentagram etched into the ground why there's a pentagram etched into this northern area of kazakhstan is very weird you know there's many theories out there for what this is about of course some people think this is the work of a satanic cult living out in kazakhstan i've even seen some people say that this is a defunct surface to air missile site and is shaped like a pentagram to help with some sort of radar tracking system these are all very fun ideas ideas um an nbc article from 2014 did an interview with a geologist who lives in this area and apparently it's an outline of a park made in the form of a star the article then goes on to say that the star was a popular symbol during the soviet era kazakhstan was part of the former soviet union until its dissolution in 1991 so i guess it's a park that was made to look like a star but since it looks like a star it also simultaneously looks like a pentagram sounds like a good cover-up for a surface-to-air missile site sudan lips this entry is just 
referring to this geological formation out in Sudan that kind of looks like some lips. Lost Baby. Yeah, so that one's once a... again, there's this image that has kind of been around the internet for a while. Uh, there's this picture of this baby just alone by itself standing out in front of a Gucci store. And this picture presumably was taken on Google Maps. I've checked every Gucci store on the planet, I think, looking for this baby. Maybe Google's removed it. Maybe this image isn't even real. I could not actually find this on Google Maps, though. If you find this on Google Maps and it exists, put a link in the comments. I'll definitely pin it. Donkey killed by Google's car. Donkey killed by Google's car no! is referring to if you go to this road in Botswana, you can come up onto this donkey and it kind of looks like you hit it with your car. This has been here for a while and people were accusing Google of actually hitting a donkey with their Google... has been here for a dude if i saw a donkey you know how slow i would drive i would drive right after this shit i'd put the window down and be like yo what up like i would talk to it a little bit you know like i'm never just you never just speed past in a donkey bro like you would never do that okay jake is a different story jake is responsible for the for the death of of, of a I can't even say. I don't know if the deer actually died, but Jake did hit it. Yeah, he hit a deer. He did. He hit a deer. He, he did. Botswana, you can come up onto this donkey and it kind of looks like you hit it with your car. This has been here for a while and people were accusing Google of actually hitting a donkey with their Google Street car. So in 2013, Google actually ended up making an official statement where they showed extra pictures of this donkey event and it turns out they didn't actually hit the donkey. Donkey kind of just happened to roll over at a very specific time. Ice ship. Is that wow. Okay, okay. You don't think... Google has the technology to do a little editing, bro. Come on, bro. You fucking ran over that fucking donkey, bro. You fucking floored it over the donkey. Hey, EGK uh, uh, with the five gifted. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. If you got gifted, uh, thank him in the chat if you got gifted. <clears throat> Matt Smitty also gifted a sub. I appreciate you. And all the resubs... Thank you, man. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, they hit that donkey. Bro. Entry is likely referring to what looks like a frozen ship on an island off of Antarctica. Google Maps will measure it to be over 400 feet long. The ship doesn't seem to match up with any known missing vessels, but maybe it's some person's private yacht that went undocumented. To me, bro, it looks a little like a ship, but I think it's not a ship. I think it's like just like an iceberg or some shit. Minute, or maybe the government lost a ship and decided to keep it classified or something. Even the website Snopes, a website that is dedicated to debunking conspiracy theories and false information, doesn't really have a great explanation for this. An argument could be made that it's just some sort of ice formation, but also it's 400 feet long and looks like a ship. Blonde tourist leg. That is actually true too. Fuck. It's actually fucking true. Shit. Hey yo, next wave games 10 gifted. Hey. Hey, put the gifters in the chat. Next wave. Thank you, bro. I should stop saying bro because a, a name like that, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl. I don't know. My bad. My bad. But thank you for the 10 gifted. If you got gifted, thank them in the chat, please. Once again, one of those pictures that have been hey, around for a while. Yo. It's a picture of this blonde tourist walking in front of the Chichen Itza ruins. Somehow when this picture was being taken, something must have happened that make her knees look backwards. Since this screenshot was taken, Google must have updated the data around these ruins because you can't see this girl anymore. Axe murder. So coming down one of these streets in Longton, England, there's a bunch of blurred out people on the side of this road. Luckily, people were able to get screenshots. Whoa, 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 whoa. Screenshot. Hold on. If this is an axe murder, give me a second. Of this before it got blurred out, it looks like the scene of a murder. An axe murder because they have axes a couple different news outlets reported on this and in case you were one oh hold on i can show you 
happened. Luckily, people were able to get screenshots of this before it got blurred out. It looks like the scene of a murder, an axe murder, because they have axes. A couple different news outlets reported on this, and in case you were wondering, it's not real. These guys are just playing a bit. Ghost Man. So this entry is very open-ended. There are many different examples of people seeing things on Google Maps that they think look like ghosts. Some examples being this guy on this beach in Australia that's kind of just phasing out of reality. And in New York, there's a street with a bunch of ghost people and ghost cars on it. Oak Bay Snake. That's so weird. there's this supposed screenshot of Oak Bay in New Zealand taken from Google Maps. In this picture, you can see what kind of looks to be a giant snake moving through the water. According to the Daily Mail in 2014, an engineer by the name of Peter Watira took this screenshot of Google Maps after he noticed the strange wake in the water. It's kind of strange because typically boats won't leave behind this kind of wake. They tend to leave behind some white froth and it's usually in an- Dude, that's fucking Godzilla, bro. Oh my God, dude. That's fucking Godzilla's tail, bro. That's Godzilla's tail. He's swimming through the- What other animal could make that- Could make that like that? A high speed. Have you seen Godzilla like go through the water? You know how fast he is? It's either like, dude, what could make that, dude? The Loch Ness? No, the Loch Ness monster is not big like that, dude. The Loch Ness monster is like this big. Like the Loch Ness monster is like this big. He's not doing shit like that, bro. An overall different shape. This has led some people to speculate that it was a giant sea snake or sea monster. I've even seen some people think that it could have been a giant ore fish. It's very interesting, although also it is very possible for a smaller, faster watercraft to leave behind a wave like this. Broken face. This entry is referring to a picture that was taken off of Google Maps of a broken face statue or something. You can find it in a Dutch city known as The Hague. It's part of an art museum out there. Escaped prisoner. So in South Africa, near the city of Johannesburg, you can find find this guy in full orange just walking down this really isolated street that's so unlucky bro that's so unlucky dude, dude people go to jail right you know how hard it is to fucking break out of jail this guy got escaped jail and then somehow on the day he escaped they wind up doing something that they just do literally once and then never do again the Google truck found this guy. Like, bro. That's actually, ins that's the worst luck ever, bro. That's actually the worst luck I've ever seen. Johannesburg. You can find this guy in full orange just walking down this really isolated street and it kind of looks like this person could be an escaped prisoner. I really wish Google Maps captured a prisoner escaping, but the odds are it's not. There are really no prisons near this area and if you go down the road you can actually catch this guy again hanging out with some other people in front of their house. Not to mention his orange suit clearly says CWF and there's no prisons that match up with this acronym. The only place that seems to match up with CWF is this engineering place near Bye. So maybe this guy just happened to be wearing his engineering work clothes one day and they kind of look like prisoner stuff. Van. All right, dude. Fuck you, bro. God damn it, bro. Why couldn't you just leave that one alone? Why did you have to dig into that one, dude? Why, dude? You literally, yeah, you ruined it. You fucking ruined it, bro. God damn. Dude, I was about to like tell people about that. Like I, like, I was literally going to bring that up in conversation. Now what the fuck am I going to do, bro? And on fire. In Toronto, Canada, you can look at this flaming van parked out in front of someone's house. And you can also check out this burning van in Brazil. Holy Plane shit. in the forest. So there are a couple... Wait, why didn't he show it? ...of someone's house. And you can also check out this burning van in Brazil. Plane in the forest. So there are a couple different examples of plane... So the, the Google car doesn't care what's going on. They don't care if they're if they're capturing an axe murder, an escaped prisoner, a flaming car. They're just like, fuck it. Like, we gotta just take these pictures. They just go down. Like, dude, if you see a, a, a fucking exploded car that's literally on fire, why would you turn down that street? Like, what the fuck are they doing, dude? 
Holy shit, bro. On Google Maps, you can find that are just in forests. They seem very out of place, but most of the time they're just decommissioned passenger planes that have been bought by private owners to be used as display pieces. There are more interesting specific cases of people finding planes on Google Maps, and we'll be talking about one later down on the iceberg. Gas mask guy. This one could be talking about one of two things. It could be referring to this picture of a guy in a gas mask crouched off to the side of the road. Once again, this picture was supposedly taken off of Google Maps. I couldn't find specifically where on Google Maps this is at, but I'd imagine it's real. Alternatively though, what this could be referring to is this photosphere you can access near the Chernobyl disaster site in Ukraine, where you can view just a huge pile of gas masks disaster site in Ukraine, where you can view just a huge pile of gas masks. What? in the fuck masks surrounding this chair with a doll sitting on it with a gas mask on just a little bit unsettling you know zura bibijan so if you come to this neighborhood in worcester england you can see this blurred out thing next to a car and for some reason google street view won't let you get up next to it street view just is like pushing you past this blurred spot well luckily people did get screenshots of what was going on here before google decided to blur it out there was what looked like a dead person on the side of the road Why are you just assuming that's a dead person? I that just looks like someone fell. I don't know. Oh, that's what a lot of people thought for a while, but of course it's this girl by the name of Azura Bibijan. <laughs> and according to this Daily She's Mail fell. article, they interviewed this girl and she was just playing dead for fun and You bastard. You son of a bitch. Now it looks like she's dead on the side of the road. Body found 22 years later. So the story goes, a man by the name of William Moult went missing in 1997. He was out at a nightclub at night. And the last heard of him, he was calling his girlfriend from the nightclub to say that he was driving back to their home in Wellington, Florida. He never made it home that night. He just disappeared. There's an investigation into his disappearance, but no one could find him. No one was sure what happened to him. That was until 22 years later, when in 2019, a submerged car was spotted on Google Maps at a pond where William Moult used to live. Shortly after this car was spotted, they pulled this car out. How did no one ever notice that, bro? Out of this lake, and William Moult's skeleton was still inside. He crashed his car into the lake and then suffocated, and then he wasn't found until 22 years later. Teen murdered in 2009 of 14. Hold on, I gotta. That's. Geez. Jeez, hold on, bro. Hold on a second. Sorry, I, I was answering, I was answering, uh, Raph texting me. Raph texting me. 15 year old boy by the name of Jose Barrera was murdered in Richmond, California. There's this high crime residential area in Richmond, California that's sometimes called the Iron Triangle, and this was where he was murdered at. The reason this is on this iceberg is because Google Maps satellites managed to capture Jose Barrera's body being left by some train tracks. Of course, if you try and check this spot on Google Maps now, it's been updated and you can't find his body there anymore. Google received complaints from Jose Barrera's family. They wanted it to get removed and it since has been. It was pretty ridiculous though because you could see Jose Barrera laying there and the picture captures the very moment that police officers pull up to the scene. Children with guns. There what? Are are a couple different examples of children on Google Maps holding guns. An example being at this neighborhood in Chicago, you can see this. Based on the way people around him are reacting, it doesn't look like it's a real gun, but who knows. Another example you can find is a suburban area in South Africa where you can come up to these kids walking and one of them looks to be holding a gun. Is it a real gun? Probably not, but it's hard to say for sure. Injury cow. So there's this picture of a cow limping across the highway with an injury. As far as I can tell, there is no information on the internet where this actually took place at on Google Maps. 41 Marmol. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if another Google car 
fucking hit it that was driving the other way and then the one that was going that way yeah like i wouldn't it's be outside of mexico city surprised by that called 41 marmal and if you look up at one of the houses it looks like there's a guy hanging from the roof when this was first discovered a lot of people actually reported it to law enforcement but it's actually just a puppet the people living at this house have gone on record saying that it's a prank new baltimore ghost town there's a town in the state of new why does everything just get covered up as oh it's a joke oh it's a prank I mean, that did look like some like Halloween decoration shit, but still. New York called New Baltimore. And prior to Google updating the data in 2016, the street view just had this weird ghostly effect to it. Everything was warped and there was a grainy effect on pretty much everything. New Baltimore is a small town in the state of New York with a population not much more than 3,000. As I've stated earlier, this phenomenon has been patched out of Google Maps, but there never really was much of an explanation for it. Malaysian plane. So earlier we talked about people finding planes on Google Maps, but this is one of the more interesting cases. So if you didn't already know, in March of 2014, Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 went missing on a flight from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. There were 227 passengers on board and 12 crew members, and till this day, no one really knows for sure what happened to this airplane. They're not sure if it was hijacked or if it was some sort of mechanical malfunction. They just lost communication with the flight and it disappeared along with everyone on board. They never found the black box. Well, in 2018, an unidentified plane was found in this Cambodian jungle on Google Maps, and a number of people theorized that this could be Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. Malaysian Airlines Flight 370 was a Boeing 777, and this plane that's in this jungle seemed seems to be a very similar length to that of a Boeing 777. Additionally, reports by the Malaysian Transport Ministry show that prior to losing contact with the plane, it was recorded to be in Cambodian airspace. The most common belief is that Malaysian Flight 370 on its way to Beijing somehow turned around and ended up crashing in the Indian Ocean, but the exact location of its crash site is still not confirmed at all. So some people think that this might be Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. Probably the biggest problem with this theory is that that debris from the plane has reportedly been found in Tanzania. Bro, why are you guys being weird, bro? Hey, mods, can you fucking... Can you ban people that are saying check cameras, bro? For like 24 hours? And other places in Africa, which kind of puts a damper on this theory because if the plane landed like, in that's not some funny shit, bro. That's not funny. Like, how was that funny? Yeah, there's really no way debris would have gone into the water and then washed across the Indian Ocean and then onto the coast of Africa. But I guess some people have a conspiracy against the Malaysian government. That's not and funny, they think bro. that they planted debris in Tanzania to kind of close the case. The Malaysian government didn't want to admit that they couldn't find the plane, so they ended up planting debris in Tanzania. Even if this plane isn't Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, it's still a really weird thing. There's not really any reason that this should be out in the middle of this jungle. Not any reasons that I could really find, at least. The guy who originally found this on Google Maps is a man by the name of Ian Wilson. Apparently, he's actually tried to go on a trek out into the Cambodian jungle to get to this airplane and try and do an analysis on it and see where it's from and why it's there. But I guess on this trek he went on, it got so dangerous that he had to turn Turn back. He says he's trying to go on another expedition out to this plane. So until anyone gets out there, we really have no idea. Why is it so hard to get out there? Like what 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 is it? Like what's so hard about it? It's jungle? Yeah, I know it's a jungle, but I'm saying if if there was actually like okay, let's say someone um had a plane. Like, I'm sure, like, someone could time, like, a skydive or, like, a, you know, like, a parachute shit to f land right there. Like, they know exactly, like, okay, if we drive by, we fly by at this exact moment, you jump at this moment, I can land right there. He can land on the plane, and then he has, like, you know, some someone comes rescues him. I don't know. Like, a, like a helicopter will come and let a... Let a a uh a ladder down how is that insane like why are people making that seem insane the trees i don't why am i now being told that i don't have education like dude you guys actually go too far with some shit bro
How do I not have education? That actually makes no sense, dude. This isn't your okay. It didn't work for Jurassic. Okay. What's going on with this plane? End of the world sign. This entry is referring to this highway road in the Mojave Desert. This highway just comes to an end in the middle of nowhere, and there's a sign that just says end. It's pretty odd, and screenshots of how it used to look are even more odd. Google has removed the street view data for when it looked like this, so you can't see this anymore. Now it just looks like this. Dog man. I'd say this is probably referring to one of two things. This could be referring to this Daily Star article from 2019, where they report on a Reddit post that was made. I think this Reddit post has since been deleted because I cannot find it. On this Reddit post that was apparently posted on r slash cryptids, a guy by the name of The Lone Hunter attached a video of him on Google Street View and he seemingly spots a dog man in the woods. This right here is what he thinks is the dog man, I think. There might be something there, but it kind of also just looks like a bunch of shadows. It looks pretty normal. On Google Maps, I was able to find a the street dog that this man? picture was taken from, but I can't find the exact angle or spot where you can see the dog man thing. There's also the possibility that this entry is just not referring to this at all, too. This entry might not be actually referring to a dog man, but instead it's referring to one of the many different funny dog and man related things on Google Maps. A lake in an island in a lake in an island. There's a couple different places where you can see something like this, but probably the best one is in the Philippines. You can find this island in a lake on an island in a lake on an island. Man jumps in Google. That's kind of fire, bro. You got to admit that's kind of fire. Google's car. This entry kind of left me with the impression that there was going to be some story out there of someone breaking into a Google Street View car. Although it doesn't really seem like anything like this has happened or at least been documented. This could be referring to this thing in Poland where you can see a guy on the Google Street View car. I know jumping on a car and in a car are different, but this is the closest thing to this entry that I think I can find. Our pref Oscar Kuna. Basically, in the... Brazilian state of Florianopolis. There's a section of streets that had some really weird properties for a while. For a while, if you were to move in certain ways and do specific things in this area, you would be able to go into this black, dark void thing, and you could move around in it a little bit, and you could look at these weird shapes and figures in the darkness. It's interesting, because it's almost like an out-of-bounds glitch on Google Maps. It doesn't seem like you can perform this glitch anymore, and it seems like this area of Florianopolis has mostly been fixed. I've tried following all the steps in the video that show how to do this and it doesn't seem to work anymore. I'd imagine as Google Street View has been updated and more street data has been compiled, glitch just doesn't work anymore because there's a bigger pool of street data to pull from. It's also completely possible that Google just went in and fixed this glitch thing. This area in Florianopolis though still isn't perfect. There are these weird glitchy kind of effects that will come over Street View if you stand in certain spots. I don't know, this music's freaking me out too, I'm not gonna lie. And the more you- We need to watch something else or do something else. This shit's freaking me the fuck out. To look at that weird demonic shaped thing in the void, the more unsettling it gets. Dude? So yeah, that was the Google Maps. What the fuck, man? Maps Iceberg. It was pretty alright, I guess. You know, if you like what you saw, you can subscribe, please. I'll love you forever if you do. Also, link in the description for the new Discord server. It's actually been around for quite a while. Hmm. Hey, that was that was a good video. That was that was uh okay. What'd you guys think? I mean I um I wasn't disappointed by that to be honest. I actually wasn't disappointed.